Every man will develop or have the propensity to wake up one morning, look at himself in the mirror, and ask, is this juice worth the squeeze? And if you haven't done it yet, hang on to your seatbelt. You will. Let's go. You have reached the I'm Dealing With broadcast. I'm Sean, your host. Stay tuned if we talk about the subject of if the juice is worth the squeeze. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another edition of the I'm Dealing With broadcast. I'm Sean, your host. Hey, today we're going to be talking about an interesting topic dealing with juice, the juice versus the squeeze. So basically you are asking yourself, is this juice worth the squeeze? And to be honest with you, all of us at some point in time, us men, women, boy, girl, doesn't matter how old or how young you are. We all actually ask this question. Oh, yeah, we do. We may not word it that way, but we actually ask that question. We ask that question in many areas of our lives. And today we'll be talking about four major areas of our lives that we have asked this question or we will ask this question. And or for those of you that discount it, you need to ask this question. So let's start with number one. Number one, relationships. In many relationships, not all relationships go very smoothly. You all know that. Look at the divorce rate. Look at the separation rate. Look at all the different things, even in your personal relationships. You know, you're dealing with associations and relationships on your job, relationships with your manager, relationships with your supervisors, relationship with the people that you work with. You, uh, you know, all these different things, you know, those that you say or we call friends and can come to find out. We might not be friends at all because I find out that many times what I call a friendship, you call me an associate. What I call uh, somebody who will be there for me, maybe somebody who's just like, you know what, if I call you uh, every now and then, that should be enough. Right. You know, and sometimes we have to understand and realize that not every relationship is healthy. You know, sometimes it might be great individuals. It might be great men, great women, great girls, great boys, uh, maybe your father and mother. You know, they're great. But sometimes, you know, not all relationships, how should we say, are worth it. You know, so and you ask yourself, is this juice worth the squeeze? Is what I'm getting out of this relationship worth everything that I've put into it? Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Think about the relationships that you have. Let's start with some of your friendships, you know, your your associates, the people that um, you call friends in your life. You know, it's amazing how many times, you know, uh, we call people friends, but it seems like it's always a one way transaction. For instance, let's just say, hey, I call you my friend. I'll call you my associate or whatever the case may be, maybe a close friend. But it seems as though I'm always calling you. I'm the one that's always texting you to see how everything's going. I'm the one who's DMing you or giving you instant messages to see how everything is going. I'm the one that's, hey, I'm including you to let you know, hey, here's where I'm at right now. Here's what I've got going on. But then it's never reciprocated. Hey, I'm the one that says, hey, let's get together. I'm the one that's saying, hey, let's go go to the winery. Let's have a cup of wine. Hey, I'm the one that's asking, hey, let's go to the movies. Let's spend some time together. Let's go down by the water. Let's go window shopping. Let's go here, there and everywhere. Let's spend some time together, some quality time. Better yet, let's go to the coffee shop, have some coffee or tea, whatever that is. Let's break bread. And I'm always making the attempt. Mm. So you have to ask yourself, is the juice that I'm getting? worth the squeeze because it seems as though that I'm getting doing all the squeezing. <laughs> I'm the one that's the one that is doing all the work. I'm the one that's putting in all the effort, but what I get in return is nothing but disappointment. Mm. Think about it outside of your personal relationships. Just think about it in your love life. 
Think about the person that you're dating, whether it's uh, a male or female. Think about that person that you're dating and you're putting in all the work. You're saying I love you and you get it. You don't get it returned or better yet. They say they love you, but their works and what they say don't match up. Hmm. You're doing all the buying. You're getting nothing in return. You're doing all the giving. You give nothing in return. You are expressing yourself, your uttermost and deepest feelings in your relationship. And you are getting nothing in return. Hmm. And you ask yourself, hmm, is this juice worth the squeeze? Now, mind you, there's a lot of different aspects of relationships that you really have to uh, dive into to figure out if it's really worth it. Sometimes personal uh, your personal acquaintance relationships are a whole lot different than the relationships we have with your wives, with your husbands, with your mother, with your father, with your son with your daughter. And let me tell you, um, sometimes you, th there are some relationships that are just very toxic to where you're the person that's doing all the loving. You're the person that's doing all the giving and they're laying on of hands on you. They're the ones that are very temperamental and you ask them anything and they get mad about every lit of the littlest detail. You can't even have a, a, a innocent conversation with them and discuss, hey, what happened at your job today without them going off or you're living in a relationship that's more of a dictatorship with whether that's from the man or from the woman. And you ask yourself. Is this juice worth it? Is the juice worth it? I'm getting squeezed in every area of my life. I'm getting squeezed on my job. I'm getting squeezed at home. I'm getting squeezed from my children. I'm getting squeezed from the community. I'm getting squeezed maybe from your, your area of worship. I'm getting squeezed in all these different areas. And you have to ask yourself, hmm, is it worth it? Number two, your family dynamic. And I think we kind of talked about this a little bit, but your family dynamic Maybe you have issues with your family, your family, again, mother, daughter, husband and wife, um, father, son. And you're having these issues in your family. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know, there's some things that are just just worth it because the end result is a win. And especially when you're dealing with your your children, when you're dealing with uh, your mother and father, because, you, you know, you only have I know we have adopted people that we've adopted along the way that we call maybe our second mom or our second dad, maybe aunts and uncles and we've, different people that we've adopted along the way. But that mom, that mother relationship, that father relationship. It's one thing when you don't have it, but let's just say you do have it or you've adopted somebody because you've never had a father and you've adopted this person. They've adopted you as a son or a daughter and you've adopted them as a mother or father in your life. Is it worth it? And you, and you, you know, yeah, that, that's worth it because you don't have that too many times where somebody is, um, you know, loving you the way you want to be loved. When you're given and, you're, and it's reciprocated, when somebody is watching out for you and sometimes when you're not even watching out for yourself, that is worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can actually taste that juice. Right. And the juice is not bitter. The juice that you're tasting is not cumbersome. The juice that you're tasting is not hard to swallow and it's healthy to you. That's a good juice. That's a good juice, especially when it's done the way it needs to be done in that relationship. And yeah, it, it, it is worth it. So in that family dynamic, there's a lot of things, but then, you know, you know, you know, you have some family, you know, that are just plum crazy, right? <laughs> plum. Yeah, I said it plum crazy that, you know, you, uh, you know, Thanksgiving is coming around, right? So, you know, Thanksgiving is coming around, you know, some of you, some of you, not everybody, but some of you are having people over your family. Some of you may be going to meet family and some of you are doing uh, Thanksgiving through Zoom. 
you know, and some of you prefer, prefer to do it through Zoom because there's some family you just you're like, oh, my God, if I see that auntie one more time, if I see that uncle one more time, because he always or she always embarrasses the family or makes um, a mockery out of our name or maybe they're always bringing up old stuff. And it's amazing since we're on that subject. It's amazing how many people that are that are they say that they don't like the fish, but they're but <laughs> but they're great fishers. They're great fishermen and fisherwomen because they're always fishing for what used to be. Even though you've changed, they can always remember for what you used to be. They can always remember you for what you uh, what you've done in the past. Amazing. Amazing. But then it's amazing how we don't bring them up, but they bring up your stuff. You know, again, I, I digress there. But again, the dynamic of the family. That's a personal question that you really have to ask. Because there's sometimes even within your personal family, what I mean, your personal, your immediate household. So you're a man or woman and you're listening or watching, watching this broadcast. And you know that even in your immediate family, your immediate household under your roof, whether you have a father, a son, uh, whether you're you know, father, son, and you have a, a, a son or a daughter, maybe a wife or a husband. And you listen to this broadcast. Well, what happens is. When you think about that dynamic there and then the extended dynamic, those that live without your household, there are some times where you do all the giving to these immediate uh, other households, you know, outside of you, outside of yourself. And you do all the giving. You're the one that's always looking after, you know, your brother. You're the only one looking after your sister or you're the one that's looking at your after your mom and dad. And you're the one that's always available. But then when it's time for you to get help when it's time for you to maybe need help or you know you need some help moving something or doing you know nobody's around it's, it's amazing you know and sometimes when you're doing all the giving when you're doing all the the work a lot of times you'll find yourself getting bent out of shape you'll find yourself tired physically mentally spiritually you find yourself drained and many times we can find ourselves bleeding, mm. not the type of bleeding from an injury due to, you know, a cut or uh, bleeding due to an, an accident or bleeding due to, you know, you try to kill yourself or a knife, N nothing like that. But I'm talking about the type of bleeding that calls you the internally hemorrhage where you're hemorrhaging pain and you're hemorrhaging blood on the inside because your heart is bleeding. Your spirituality is bleeding. Um, you know, your mental state is bleeding. And you have to ask yourself, is this juice worth the squeeze? And it happens to the best of us. And in every area of your life, you will find the answer to that question. But it first takes self-examination to find out yeah, hey, is it really worth it? OK, number three. Investments, investments. And you ask yourself, you know, I'm 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 vested. I've put investments. I've put money towards. I've put time towards. I've put my life towards. I've put my skills towards. I've put my ability towards something and you ask yourself wait a minute this juice don't taste right <laughs> right right this juice don't taste right and you ask yourself was a squeeze really worth it and you know what, what's amazing is because you know we all ask ourselves you know sometimes you're like you're thinking maybe you're watching it right now and you're just saying hey Wait a minute, I've been, why would I even ask myself, is it juice worth the squeeze? Oh, you've asked it, especially if you're in investments at all, especially financially. You've asked yourself this question. You know how you answer it? It's called ROI, your return on investment. You ask yourself, is my return on my investment matching? <laughs> is my return elevating versus what I've invested? Because, you know, and let's put it this way. Anytime you invest, you always want your return to be at least equal or greater hopefully greater than what you put into it. Right. So at, at many of us, what happened is we're on the opposite side. We have people that hardly invest anything into us and they want the, they want a greater return from us than what they gave to. Oh, 
who yeah that part you know how many family members friends cousins um associates and things in your and people in your life who are looking for a greater return out of you than they put in you and then they want you to be okay with that hmm how many of you have hardly put anything into your relationships but you're expecting something greater hmm how many of you have put put hardly anything into your friendships and expect something greater? How many of you have put hardly anything into your personal relationships and or your love life and expect something greater? I hate to say it. Don't expect anything greater than what you've put into it. Because many of us on many occasions, you know, we put in just enough so that way we're not sleeping on the couch. We put in just enough so we're not in the doghouse. We put in just enough so we can come home at night. We put in just enough to make sure we can get the keys to the car. We put in just enough to make sure that we're not being argued at. We put in just enough, just enough. And I hate to say it, but just enough isn't good enough. And now you find yourself. Is this juice worth the squeeze? Just a second. See, not worth it. Number four, self. Self. It's amazing how many of us also expecting more out of life. We expect more out of our employers. We expect more out of our business deals, our business ventures. Maybe out of your entrepreneurship business, maybe out of your podcast, out of your camera business, you know, photography, videography, your editing. Maybe you're a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, secretary, an admin, construction worker. Investor, it's amazing how we put in enough and we expect a bigger return out of ourselves or from people when we hardly put anything in it. You know, it's amazing how, um, for instance, if you think of it right now with the COVID and things are being locked down again, we're going back into a quarantine, we're going back into a uh, an area to where we're now limited to amount of time that we can actually go out and do some different things. And you have all the opportunity in the world to learn more right now, especially right now. You have all the opportunity to read better books. You have all the opportunity to increase in learning. You have all the opportunity in the world to develop and harness a new skill. You have all the opportunity to maybe develop your speech better, to be able to stand better before crowds, to be able to love longer, be stronger. You have all the opportunity to have self enrichment, maybe develop your a better spirit. Maybe to get more into your religiosity in your religion, whatever that is, you know, you have all the time in the world to get your mind right with God or whatever that is that you need to get your mind right with all the opportunity in the world to do these things. But we expect right now a lot more than what we put into it. We haven't used our time right. We haven't developed a sense of learning. We haven't developed and used the time to better ourselves in many different aspects. And then all of a sudden we want to be hard on ourselves dealing with the return that we've received or not receiving a return at all. And the reason why our return is deficient, the reason why we are hardly getting little out of anything is because we have to look at what do we put into it. 
What did you put into it? What were the ingredients that you put into this juice? What were the ingredients? Did you did you put in as much time as you can? Did you put in as, as much love as you can? Did you put in some overtime? You know, did you sacrifice some sleep for this? Did you do all these different things as much as you can out of your, your time, out of your life, out of your being, out of your soul? Did you give as much time as you can to achieve what it is that you want to achieve in life? Because if you haven't put all that into the ingredients of the juice, I hate to say it, by the time you get ready to drink what's been set before you, I mean, again, after all, you have to understand that you're the one who put the ingredients in the juice. Mm -hmm. If you've sown discord in your juice, imagine that's what's going to be in there. If you've been angry, if you if you're staying angry, if you're you're always pulling up old things with people or if you're always not being lovable, or if you're always if you have a, a hatred attitude, if you have a, a attitude of spite, if you have an attitude of arrogance, if you have an attitude of all this and you're sowing all this into your juice in any area of your life, it doesn't matter if it's in your relationship, in your family dynamic, in your investments and in yourself. If you're sowing all this negative stuff, what's going to happen is you're going to reap that back in your juice. Mm hmm. And then we can't get mad about what we are drinking, because after all, we served ourselves. We served it. We actually put it in the right cup. We put it in the Ninja, the blender, the Cuisinart, whatever that is that we use, the Vitamix, and we poured all these ingredients into it. And then we got the nerve to complain about what we put inside the blender. We've got the nerve to complain about the simple fact that we put in something that was bitter. We put in some spoiled milk. We put in some spoiled ingredients, some rotten vegetables we, because we had a rotten attitude. <laughs> I can go on about this. But the truth of the matter is, is in every area of our lives, we're going to have to ask this question. Is this juice worth the squeeze? Because sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. But if you're not taking the time to even self-examine and ask yourself that question, you're doing yourself no favors. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean, your host at I'm Dealing With. Like, subscribe, share. And as always, be blessed.